Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm loaded up in the car today because I'm going to go on a little bit of an adventure. Uh, I got to lead on some parts for the flower truck and um, specifically a starter, which is, you know, a huge piece uh, to the puzzle that we're looking for. Um, hopefully this gentleman's got something that's going to work for our needs. And I'm going to try and bring you along for as much of the ride as I can. Probably not going to film in front of him because that probably would weird him out, but I'll take you for the ride either there maybe afterwards and uh, for sure if we do buy the part when uh, we bring it home. So I just got back home from our trip. I did buy the starter. Um, it was pretty well what I was looking for. It's a lot cleaner than I was expecting it to be. Um, sometimes when you buy parts from junkyards, it, it's kind of a, a crapshoot as to what you're going to get um, or they're going to need, you know, some sort of cleaning up. And um, this is actually really, really clean, um, surprisingly so. Um, so our next... Uh, ticket on the docket here is going to be to bench test the starter making sure that it's going to work or um, determine whether or not we've, we've got to send it out to get some repairs done to it um, and get it cleaned up a little bit more but hoping that everything will be good and we will be one step closer to getting the truck running okay guys this is the starter that I picked off of Facebook marketplace um, it was advertised as being for a 36 Plymouth we're gonna make it fit the 38 Dodge. It's a little bit earlier of a starter, so it's got a two uh, point activation on it, whereas the 38 Dodge originally came with just the one. Um, basically, this right here level will power um, the starter up and this uh, activation point over here throws a Bendix forward so that it can engage the flywheel and uh, get everything cranked over. Um, and so what I want to do right now is I want to test it, make sure that it works and make sure that I don't have to send it out to be serviced. Sometimes you have to have you know, brushes replaced or have it cleaned out on the inside and whatnot. And we do have a, a local shop here that's pretty awesome and, and does that for us. Um, vehicles that were manufactured for Chrysler um, from 1954 and earlier are all a positive ground um, charging system. So when we do that, we're going to connect the positive ground to the uh, case of the starter, and then we're going to connect the negative uh, terminal to uh, the bolt right here where we're going to power it up. Okay, so we're going to connect here to the case of the starter. We're going to connect the negative right here to the clip. Let's make sure we got a good connection and we're going to throw this rod forward making sure that it engages the button here and we should hear it whir. There we go.
So I'm pretty excited. It seems like we're making some good progress. I'm already crossing off the first item on our checklist that we made the last video. Uh, under sourcing a few parts, we're crossing off starter. I've got to add a few more parts to that list, but this is a start for us here now. So from the previous video, you probably noticed that I only grabbed one carburetor and in actuality, I have a couple options and the options probably that I'm going to go with is going to be based off of what I have a carb kit available for. My husband's got a couple that are on the shelf. So, um, the one that I picked was there the, on the left, the one on the right is probably the one that I'm going to go with, but before I can do either of those, I'm going to have to remove, um, the hood and undo the bolts that are here on either end and take that off. So like any project, you really can't go straight forward. This video here shows how the little pin that holds the hood on is spinning. And the only way to get that off with the square nut on the back is to drill it out. So now we're gonna be death by a thousand drills.
So now that I have a better look um, on this side of the engine here and in the, the manifold is, I think instead of uh, putting the carb on and firing up, we're going to go ahead and pull the manifolds off of the side of the engine there. And um, it looks like there's some stuff in there and I'm really not quite sure how long it's been open. I think this is going to be a good place to end the video. Um, I kind of got stuck on removing the manifold here due to these two bolts. This one on the left is a little stripped out on the ends and the other one requires me to cut part of that hose off in order to be able to get some access to it. Um, I can't get my socket or a wrench in there. But anyhow, um, got a lot going on. I'm sorry it's taking me so long to kind of get a video put together for you guys. I haven't had a whole lot of time to uh, work on the truck, but I'm just been taking a little bit of time here and there just trying to uh, spend maybe an hour or even a half hour um, to work on it um, and we'll move forward we've got a lot more going on I've been working in the fields getting everything filled up getting all my beds prepared I've been in uh, part of a couple farmers markets and some pop-up shops uh, for the early start of the summer so things are really rolling here and it's been super busy so I'll try and get another video done as quickly as I can. Um, I like trying to be on that two-week schedule, but it's not always possible. But um, I'll get to it as close as I can. Thank you so much again for watching. Um, 
don't forget to click the subscribe button to follow me for some more content uh, feel free to like the video leave a comment let me know how you think i'm doing on the progress of the truck and we'll see you next time